Hi, this is Kanna Babu. This is part 6 of SQL Server FAQs. In this video, we will discuss about what are the differences between delete, truncate as well as drop. So, first of all, we will discuss about the differences between drop and truncate. So, drop is used to um, delete the database or tables permanently. Is it clear? But in this context, what is the difference between drop and truncate means drop is used to delete the table data along with the table structure whereas truncate is used to delete only the table data not the structure so what is the meaning of this actually and once when you try to drop the table we cannot insert the record because the table is permanently deleted from the database once when you truncate the table we can insert the record because that the structure of the table is not deleted only the data that is available in the table is deleted for example if you consider there is one database with name mydb there you can see i have some tables right click on emp edit top 200 rows so here i have some table with name what emp now i'll try to uh, apply truncate the syntax for truncate is truncate table table name what is my table name emp and here truncate and drop both belongs to ddl commands only data definition language commands press f5 so command completed successfully now once go and check here select star from emp select star from emp now what happened means the table data is deleted not the structure only the data is deleted all the records that are available in the table is deleted now i will try to drop the table drop table table name emp press f5 now command completed successfully again write select star from emp execute so here you will got an error saying that invalid table name or invalid object name emp because emp table is permanently deleted from mydb database so truncate is used to delete the table data but not the structure whereas drop is used to delete the table structure once when we truncate the table we can insert the record but once when we drop the table we cannot insert the record so yeah, these are the major differences between truncate and drop truncate is a ddl command drop is also a ddl command truncate is used to delete the table data but not the structure drop is used to delete the table structure along with the data we can insert the record in the table after executing truncate query but we cannot insert the record in the table after executing drop command because the table is permanently deleted the syntax for truncate is truncate table table name drop is drop table table name so here one more important point is whenever we try to drop the table the relationships constraints and the privileges these all are will be removed after executing drop command but whenever you try to execute truncate command the relationships uh, constraints the the privileges everything will not affect it will not affect the structure it will only affect the table data so now we will discuss about the differences between delete and truncate this is very very important interview question so actually we already know that delete is a dml command data manipulation language command truncate is ddl command data definition language command delete will delete the record row by row delete will always delete for example if i try to what execute one query something like this for example i have one table called e1 so if i try to write select star from e1 select star from even press f5 i have some records are there now i'll try to execute the query delete from even and if i try to execute the query truncate table even when you execute both the queries it will give the same result both the queries will delete all the records from the table no doubt about that here you see all the records are deleted and here truncate table table name also uh, as a, it will also delete all the records so what is happening here means but uh, the performance wise delete will delete the record row by row it will delete first row next second row next third row like that whereas truncate will delete the entire table at a time is it clear so truncate will work fast compared with what delete that is the second point i'm discussing delete will delete the record row by row whereas truncate will delete all the records at a time next by using delete we can delete a specific record if you want to delete a specific record from the table for example delete from employee where e number is equals to 101 or i want to de delete the employees uh, details whose salary is greater than 50000 
or who is working in EC department like that. If you want to delete a specific record from the table, you can delete by using delete command. Truncate will not work with, uh, we cannot delete a specific record by using truncate. Truncate is used to delete all the records at a time. Next, delete will works with where condition. If you want to delete a specific record from the table, you can use what? Where condition. But uh, where condition will not work with what? Truncate. Next, delete will maintain the log data. So, it will work slow compared with what? Truncate. Whenever you try to delete the record each and every time, each and every transaction information is maintained in log file. So, it will occupy more memory. Which one? Delete. Whereas, truncate, uh, performance wise it is fast because it is used to delete all the records at a time. And one more important point between delete and truncate is, here you say, I'll try to create one table here. Create table. The name of the table I'll give as EMP with columns E number. Data type I'll give int and I want to apply identity column identity of starting number something like 101 comma increment by 1 identity syntax identity column is used to give the unique identification number and it will automatically generate the id is it clear and here i will try to give e name and here i will give var care var care of some 30 i will give so if i try to create one table with two columns employee number and employee name and so right click on emp edit top 200 rows here i have two columns we cannot insert the value in identity column so, it will be automatically generated. I will give some name Anil and here I will give Jaydeep and here I will give Sagar and here I will give uh, uh, Tom and here I will give uh, Tom and here I will give something like John. If you observe clearly, the ID is automatically generated because I have given the starting number. The ID must start from where? 101. So, here you can see the initial value is 101 increment by 1 time. Now, what will happen? Let us observe. Whenever you try to execute the delete command, for example, if I write select star from EMP and if I try to execute this command, it will display all the employee details. If I try to write the query delete from EMP, where, uh, de delete from EMP. So, when I execute this delete command, what will happen? It will delete all the records from the EMP table. So, 5 rows are affected. Press F5. Now, after deleting the record, if you try to insert the record, it will not uh, uh, reset the identity value. So, as 105 IDs are there, next the next ID will be 106. Here I will give John, here you see. So, delete command will not reset the identity value. Here if I give James, here you see. It will not reset the identity value. It will continue the identity value. Is it clear? Now, for example, if I try to what? Truncate. Truncate table. And here I will write EMP, press F5. Now here you see command completed successfully. Select star from EMP. Now go and check here. After truncate, I will try to insert the record. Anil. And here I will what? Jaydeep. So I think you understood. And here what you understood here? Truncate will reset the identity value. Delete will not reset the identity value. Is it clear? So that point here I am discussing here you see. Delete command will continue the uh, will not continue. Uh, will continue the identity value. Truncate will reset the identity column to the starting point. That is the main important difference between delete and truncate. And the next point is delete uses more transaction space because delete will maintain the log data information. And whenever you try to execute the delete command, each and every time the each and every transaction information will be maintained, so it will occupy more memory. Delete. Truncate use the less transaction space compared with what? Delete. Delete can be used with index views. Truncate cannot be used with what? Index views. Because index view is nothing but what? Uh, it is a virtual table. Whenever we create a view, we can perform DML operations on views. Like uh, insert, we can insert the record in the view, delete the record from the view, we can update the record in the view, we can perform some operations. But truncate will not work with what? Views. Index views. And delete operations can what? Roll back. Whereas truncate and drop cannot what? Roll back. So we already know about commit and roll back. Commit is used to save the changes permanently. Whenever we perform any transaction SQL, whatever the transactions we have performed, these transactions will not, will not be saved. If you want to save these transactions, we have to commit. If you want to undo the transactions, we have to roll back. And for example, if you try to delete the record from the table, after deleting the record, you can what? Roll back it. Let us say I will show you. 
for example here i have something like uh, i will try to insert some record uh, some three records are there 101 102 and 103 now i'll try to create one transaction begin transaction t1 and here i'll try to write one query delete from emp where e number is equals to 101 is it clear press f5 one row is affected and here i will try to what roll back so i will try to roll back now if you want you can see i will write select star from select star from emp press f5 now 101 record is deleted now again i will i want to undo the changes i want to get back the deleted record so you simply write what roll back press f5 so again roll back is used to undo the changes are you following for example here i will try to create one transaction begin transaction delete from emp so all the records are deleted three rows are affected then again roll back command completed successfully now all the records came and here if i try to write what truncate 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 table truncate table table name press up. so select start from emp roll back sorry let us see here Here actually there is a very common concept that uh, a confusion will be there. The truncate cannot be rolled back. But actually here if you use transaction in your code. As I mentioned begin transaction transaction name. Truncate can be rolled back. But if there is no transaction is used. Truncate operation is committed actually. So it cannot be retrieved from log file. Because as a delete command each and every time when we try to perform the execute the delete command. It will maintain the information in the log file. Whereas uh, truncate will not maintain the information in the log file. So delete command will again roll back the data from log file. But uh, truncate command if you try to use what transaction like begin transaction then you can what roll back. Simply what I am telling is truncate can be rolled back if you use transaction in your code. If there is no transaction in your code truncate operation is committed it cannot be what retrieve the data from the log file because that it, as it will not maintain the data in the log file whereas delete command will maintain each and every transaction information in log file. The last point is delete will work with what triggers we can create a, a trigger trigger is a special type of stored procedure which will get invoked immediately after performing DML operations like insert update as delete as truncate is not a DML command we cannot use truncate as well as drop with what triggers. So these are the main differences between delete and Truncate. I hope you understood. In the next video, we will discuss some other concept. For more videos, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and Facebook group. Thank you. Have a nice day.